Okay, so please pardon the mess. But this is our, I guess our drink cap. Yeah, well, yeah. So I'm not trying to like represent brands or nothing, but this is what Noe got me. That's pretty cool, right? This is like laser then. Like it's pretty laser engravement. And I even have like little uh, ice cubes and everything. It's pretty awesome. That's what it says on that side. And on this side, it says, Hirsch Snowy. Sorry, there's a little bit of a Hirsch Snowy. More refined each year. And I agree. 2010 was when we got married. And so, yeah. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. Sorry, I went on a, <laughs> went on a little tangent there. So this is a hand-me-down little thingy. And it's in our dining room. And as you can see, it's kind of worn. It's a great piece of wood. Somebody was moving and they didn't want this. So Noelle, you know, she wants stuff. So we're going to basically revamp this and make it look better. Oh, girls, girls. So we're going to revamp this. In this area, everything in the dining room is black. Uh, so we have like a black window, black glass table. I'll show you. So here's an example of the one of the black glass tables, and we have black here, of course. Over here we have black. So <clears throat> it makes sense for us to basically make this black. We're going to get a new dining table. I'm not going to show you the table now because it's a wreck because of the girls and their mess, and they didn't clean up. So I'm not going to show you that, but this is going to look completely different after Noelle and I get done. So just hang on a sec. Is that blinding light? Yeah. I'm sorry. Blinded by the light. Oh, gee. So a little bit of what we're doing. We got this top part already laid, and I'm going through and making sure that it gets uh, placed down. All we're using is contact paper, and it's wood grain if you can kind of, hold on. Oh. And it actually has some texture to it. So this is going to be black wood to fit the entire area. So it's going to look pretty cool. Okay, so the two areas that have given us a little bit of a challenge, uh, which when you're dealing with this stuff, you have to go slow, um, is the legs and this side here. The top was perfect. It was able to lay there, even though the paper had some um, bubbles in it and everything, it laid perfectly fine. The top did great. The side here we had a little bit more of an issue on. I'm really good at laying it down. She's good at cutting it, so uh, laying it down. <laughs> uh, true. But anyway, so <laughs> anyhow, I'm going to help her with this real quick so that she can make sure that it gets on there good. Then we're going to go over it with a hair dryer. <laughs> And that seals everything down and makes it perfect. So the cat and the dog are fighting each other. Playing. So anyhow, let me... So anyway, um, Zara's telling me about Zeta her clip-on earrings. But anyhow, I'm going to finish this up, help Noe real quick, and then get back to you. Okay, so now we're kind of at a crossroads um do we want to because if you notice there's several different tones going on which is kind of cool um you have blue in there like a baby blue and then you have the gray shells and on the back there's actual like wood grain color so the question is do we ultimately leave the gray shells and leave the blue inside as well because that's kind of it breaks it up i have a feeling that if we have just all black it's going to not look as good maybe so what we're going to do is noel's putting the rest of this up here and then we're going to put it down uh, where's my finger right down there along with this bottom strip and technically, we'll have the entire side. We have the other side to do. We'll have all of it done. And we're going to take a look to see if we really and truly want to mess with the inside of it. Um, chances are, it might look good the way that it is. Um, but it looks a lot better than it did before. A lot better. 
Okay, so this is the finished um, table and cat hair, sorry. But as you can see, this is basically what it looks like. I'm getting that little toy train out of the way. <laughs> so I can take an actual picture of it, but uh, yeah, it looks a lot better. Now, what Noelle says she wanted to do was we're going to do the kitchen cabinets and there's going to be like a white type setup like this similar. And as you can see, I mean, it's smooth. You can hear it. Um, so she was thinking about doing the shelves possibly with the white. I think with the gray as it is, it kind of stands out. Uh, I like it. Uh, it's not too, too bad. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is what we spent the afternoon doing. We're going to leave it here. There's a light socket right there. It gives us a little bit more light in here. Um, and this can also be used when we're having uh, Thanksgiving and things like that. We need as much space as possible. So we have this glass table, as I showed you earlier, and then this, they both will come in handy. And Noelle knows the secret. We're getting a new dining room table. Um, so that's going to go perfect with everything here. So anyhow, that's pretty much it. Um, it took about an hour, I guess, to do this. An hour and 20 minutes or so uh, to do it. Not bad at all. Um, we're going to leave, like I said, the inner gray shelves. We're going to leave the blue. So Noelle's going to leave the blue and just have the white, have these shelves as white, these two shelves. I think that'll look really, really nice. But anyhow, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, Noe, do you want to say anything? Hold on. No. Yeah. Uh, that's it. I'm tired. It truly was a joint process, though, because I cut and measure and get it started. Hershey is the smoother. Yeah, I do really good at like smoothing it out. I use an old Qdoba card <laughs> and that's the key. You want to smooth as you go. So you don't want to just lay it out and just like flatten it. It's a process. So you literally have to uh, take the backing off and then take some sort of a little card like this. I have a little Qdoba card, it's old. And you just smooth it down as you go and it lays down pretty good the top part which is what we did first this part was the easiest by far yeah. well and this is the most important this is that's the most important so the front area is most important and then we did a heat treatment so heat treatment is you basically just take a hair dryer uh you put it on there and again you want to go through and take a card and flatten it out to make sure that everything is good to go um and then it forms a much better bond right yeah it helps smooth out the wrinkles and creases yeah and it kind of just helps like melt it a little bit to right. the surface exactly but the cool thing is is if we decide that we don't like this we can take this off and i mean some paint will come up with it but then then you'd have another blank canvas and you could just repaint it sand it down and repaint it right so this is not a um permanent fix Right. Uh, but And it wasn't really that bad to begin with. Um, the only reason why we put this on here was to match what's going to come later. So everything in here is basically black, even including our picture frames, right? So um, we wanted to make sure that we had everything kind of flowing together. So that's the only reason why. Other than that, I actually like it. Um, but this really does kind of bring everything kind of in together. And it's a cheap way of doing it. It didn't cost much. This is the same material we used in the bathroom. So yep. um, Leftover material. It, it saved saved us a lot of money. And, and it looks have, like new furniture. What, this roll was like 25 bucks. 25 bucks. And we still have. And this is going to go probably in the bottom parts of the bathroom. Um, cabinet. Cabinet. And that's. Yeah, I mean. Oh, I mean, there's the end of it. That's the end of it. So it may or may not work. I don't know. We may not have enough. We may not have enough, but that's totally okay. I mean, we did this we project be, well, here. Well, we might be able to do the one big cabinet. Maybe. Or we can just figure something else out. But, uh, yeah, we were wanting to know what else we can do with the black. This was a good project. It really does make this look a whole lot better, in my opinion. And... Um, this computer and stuff shouldn't be here. This is mainly for the girls when they do schoolwork. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You want to say anything else? Nope, that's it. Bye, guys.
<laughs> All right, you guys can't see me. But anyway, until next time, make sure you like, share, subscribe, join our Discord, which will be down in the description box uh, below. And until next time, I will see you. Take care.